Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the daily devotional with this little book, The Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you for your daily devotional and your fellowship with God and also your faith, faith journey with God and in God today. Today is September 17th, 2020, Thursday. And the title of today's devotional is Faithful Servant. The scripture is from 1 Samuel chapter 3, verses 1 through 10. Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli. The word of the Lord was rare in those days. Visions were not widespread. At the time, Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his room. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called, Samuel, Samuel, and he said, here I am, and ran to Eli, and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call. Lie down again. So he went and lay down. The Lord called again Samuel. Samuel got up and went to Eli, and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call my son. Lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the, the Lord, and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. The Lord called Samuel again a third time, and he got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore, Eli said to Samuel, Go, lie down, and if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Now the Lord came and stood there, calling as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. Amen. Another scripture is from Deuteronomy 6, 5. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all with all your soul and with all your strength. Amen. Today's story is from Wati who lives in India. One of my favorite Bible stories is that of Samuel. His mother, Hannah, had begged God to give her a child. God blessed her with a son, Samuel, whom Hannah brought to serve in the temple. We can imagine little Samuel helping Eli, the high priest in the temple of Shiloh. Samuel might have done chores and ran errand. errand Iran's for Eli and the believers who came to the temple. Samuel's work must have been hard, but he served diligently as a loving and faithful steward in God's house. Samuel served God with all his strength. He didn't he didn't complain when he thought Eli was calling him in the middle of the night. He was jealous. For Samuel, no work was menial, and every job was important. Because Samuel was faithful in small matters, God entrusted him with big matters. Samuel eventually became one of Israel's greatest prophets, 
loving God with all our strength means volunteering our time, talent, care, and resources for God and others. No work is manual or degrading in the service of God. Every act of service is holy and pleasing to God. The story of Samuel can inspire us to serve God with all our strength. Yes. What project, what ministry would you like to do? And how would you like to serve God? Would you like to have a big job? Or would you like to have a small job? You know what? It is not our decision. Actually, it is God's decision. Whenever God calls us for anything, we should say yes and do it. Some people would like to take a big portion and big project from God to serve God and glorify God. And some people would like to choose small one. But you know what? As he said, there is no small or big job and ministries in God, in service, in service, in the service of God. Because God needs everyone and God needs every service. God needs every service from us for God's kingdom, for God's glory, and for God's will on earth. So let's do our job, doing our best and diligently and faithfully. When we serve God faithfully, God will let us do God's work with God's joys and peace. That will be our joy and peace in our life. So, whatever you do in your church, whatever you do in your life to serve God, there is nothing, there is nothing small. Everything is important and necessary to God. I hope you remember that whatever you have the what oh, whenever you have the chance to serve God, please do it. If it seems be many menial or small, don't worry, because there is no small things, small jobs before God. Everything is important. If you take a big project or any big ministry, don't worry because God is with you and God will help you. God provide the strength and wisdom for that because God calls you for the ministry. So in our place, in each place, let us do our job for God's glory and God's kingdom. Let me read the prayer that what he wrote here and then I will add my prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, help us to serve you like Samuel did. Remind us to be jealous in all our work because every act of service is pleasing to you. Lord, we are yours. We are your children and we are disciples of Jesus Christ. We would like to follow you and we would like to see you. Lord, please be with us and help us and let us say yes to you whenever you ask us and lead us to do something for you and for your people. Lord, we need your strength and your wisdom. We need your power and authority to do your ministries. Please help us and lead us. We would like to remember the people who need your mercy. Lord, please be with the persons, the people who are suffering from life issues and any other issues. Please let them see your salvation. Let them have your peace. Let them have your miracles and wonders. Lord, give them your healing, your grace and your mercy. Please help us to go in your ways today. Please give us the strength for today, daily bread for today. 
wisdom for today and direction for today. We need you all the time. We praise you and worship you. For you are our God and our Savior and our Sustainer. You love us. You cares for us, care for us. So we give thanks to you. Lord, we are yours. Please hold us in your arms. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful and beautiful and blessed day. Bye-bye.